So I had shot a decent bit of gators when I was getting footage for the early access look at the brand new caller. We went on a gator hunt in that video as well as hunting a few other things and we had shot a bunch of gators in the process of making that video. So we're going to go through and try to find all the respawns today. We've got a lot of areas that we can check and we're just hoping that we got some good respawns from that video that we made in early access. My prediction would be that if we did find anything today, it would likely be piebald as they seem to have a higher spawn rate than the albinos and the mellas. Piebalds seem way more common than any of the other rares for the gators, so I would think that it's likely we'll get one of those if we do manage to get a rare gator today. If not, then we're very, very lucky if we get something like an albino or a melanistic, which is kind of what we're hoping for, to be honest. Okay, so our dog is already growling. Which means there's something near, I, I think. Is it out there? Oh, it is. I also may have forgot to mention we are using the brand new 44 lever action. As it is a ton of fun to take down stuff like gators with this rifle. And of course, if we find anything good, we will be using the brand new collar to try and haul it in as that was a very enjoyable experience in the early access. But there we go, first gator kill of the day, got a nice little neck shot, and then we got a stomach liver right lung shot to finish him off. Okay, that guy is starting to notice us, which means we should probably take a shot whenever we can. The penetration is pretty crazy on this rifle, so I'm not really worried about making sure they get close. We can likely, yeah, we got into the vitals. I was gonna say we can likely get into vitals at most distances, as long as we can managed to compensate for the drop properly and that's exactly what we did right there okay here we go for a little bit of a longer shot that looked like it was probably good just in case it wasn't we will take another shot into him and that for sure is going to get him down vitally there's the other one we shot though 429 on the score we got ourselves a double lung and then a jaw and skull shot, which isn't great, but the first one was good enough to get him down. There we go with, I believe, our third gator of the day. And yeah, we did hit that first shot at 157 meters. Second shot did not get in there nearly as good, but I mean, it still hit it enough to where it took it down faster. So there we've got ourselves a mythical gator. It's not giving us a great angle, but that actually should be fine knowing the 44 lever that should be vitals and it is he's going down now the question is are there any others in the area that's the only one i could see but doesn't mean it's the only one that's here i gotta say the 44 lever action is really really fun for these gators it's super powerful you can take a shot at pretty much any angle and nail it and it's just a, a very entertaining experience to go on i mean you guys saw that one video that we did in the early access for this brand new DLC where we took out stuff with the 44 and used the collar. It was really fun and probably the most fun I've ever had on Mississippi Acres. And so far, this gator hunt right here is living up to that same type of expectations. I'm enjoying it a lot so far. This gun is really nice for them, especially with the way that I enjoy hunting the gators and the crocodiles here in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Believe it or not, Scarecrow's not always looking for the most ridiculous insane fast way to grind a species sometimes i just want to have fun and with these right here i really enjoy just running down the shoreline and shooting any of them that i come across that is the most enjoyable way for me to hunt them i could be more efficient with it by setting up tents and tripods everywhere and just spawning right on top of them but i enjoy hunting the gators this way a lot more okay so we may have uh oh never mind it's over there i was gonna say we may have ran into an issue because I saw hunting pressure, but did not see the gator. I, I guess it swam really, really far out before it died. And yeah, now we're going to have to wait for it to float over to the shore. This may take a while. And finally, one eternity later, we actually get to claim this thing. A dark brown male, 353.30. This guy is a level six. First shot was good. Second one, not as good, but, you know, that's a vital enough shot to deal some extra damage to take it down. We really only need to hit one of them vitally, and then the second shot just kind of needs to go wherever to speed up the process. Uh-oh. Here we go. We had to be a lot faster on the draw for this one because he ran right at us. 
trying to get away. It wasn't charging, but it sure felt like it at first. Well, we're close again. There we go. And that is going to be the end of that gator as well. We definitely spooked off anything that could have been ahead, so let's do a quick little scan. There's a couple up there, so I mean, we've got a few gators left that didn't spook off. In fact, there's three of them there. So I guess we're going to go for those next. So these guys are attentive now. However, I think we should be able to get some shots into them. That looked pretty solid. One more just for good measure, and I think we actually... Whoa! I don't know what happened there, but I think we killed it. I, I think it will die. I don't know what it just did, though. That was terrifying. Okay, that guy is defensive for a long time. I Usually that means that he's going to attack. Or in this case, he's going to flee, and I think that's probably because we were not very close to him. But we got vitals, so it doesn't really matter. Well, here's our two gators right here. This guy got hit in the leg, and then the second shot managed to actually get him in the heart. That is pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. And for number two, we got an olive level 7, 40573, a perfect double lung shot from 163 meters. Let's go ahead and try this shot right here. 150 meters on this female gator, and that's going to be a good shot there. Second one probably missed because she did move a little bit. There we go. That one did end up hitting, though. There we go. There is the female gator. That was one nice shot right into the lungs. Um, apparently, the second one did hit. We just didn't realize it at first. And then the third one also ended up hitting. So we didn't get full score, but it's a female. So it is what it is. All right. So like 178 away. This should be a pretty tough shot, but that looked good to me. Oh, second shot was really good. So that went a lot better than I thought it would have. We uh, had to go down here because we kind of came to the end of where these things usually are. You don't really see too many zones below this point, so I decided to fast travel down here, and now we're checking the zones down in this area. We've got a lot of zones down here, but only one of them is visible right now. The others seem to not have anything in them at the current moment. So there's the one that we just took out from a long distance. Double lung shot on the first one and like every type of spinal bone on the second one. All right, so we got a couple of gators over there. That's looking like a pretty good shot that we could maybe make. That was not as much lead or I guess drop as I thought I needed. Or, I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. That was not as much compensation as I expected to need there. I guess that's what I was trying to say. That is not the amount of compensation that I was expecting to need. I thought we would need to use the uh, first dot. Maybe I misjudged the range there, but it felt like we should have needed to aim a little bit higher than what we needed. Well, that's a problem. It's stuck on the tree. We're not going to be able to get that. That is definitely in an area that we will not be able to reach. Here we go. Let's try to get a shot on this guy as he runs away. And that's going to do it. Love to see a quick takedown on a gator. That is going to be a spine and lung shot on the first one and then double lung on the second. Also, I got to point out, I love that the 44 lever action can actually use the marksman exact reflex sight. This thing looks so good, and there's not a lot of rifles that can actually use it. So it is really nice that this rifle has the capabilities of using this sight. And if you're curious about how to acquire this sight, it's part of the Verhonga Savannah DLC. You end up getting it with that map, as well as the uh, 470 rifle. Well, not the greatest shooting, but hopefully it'll die. Okay, so that's going to be a really tough shot, but I think we could make it. Let's see what the distance is. It's about 217. So, provided I'm correct on the amount of 
compensation we'll need. It should be about there. Okay, so it's definitely not as much compensation as I thought. That's really strange because during the Expansive Worlds live stream, when they were showing off this rifle, a Jaxi Beard was hitting shots at 200 meters using that first mill dot with the Hyperion scope. And that was just a little bit over 215. And I needed to aim just above where the dot is. So I'm curious why that is. Maybe the shooting range changes how things work a little bit. It's really hard to say, but either way, that's not what I expected it to do right there. Here we go. I hear another gator. Seems like it's a male. Question is where? There it is. That should be a couple vital hits there. I think I hear another though. Oh yeah, I totally do. Wait. No, it's the same one. That was indeed the same one. So I guess there's not another one around here? We're going to keep our eyes open though, just in case. Here's the one that we shot across the water, that nice little level four. Yeah, that's uh, not where I was trying to hit it, but it got the kill shot. And that's really all that matters at that point with how off we were with our compensation there. You know, I thought that these things were supposed to go aggressive more. It went briefly aggressive right there, but immediately went to fleeing and started running away. So I'm not sure if that's a bug or what, but it certainly didn't stay aggressive for very long. There is another one right there. And that should do it. There's this little level five gator 30378. Got a nice little double lung and then a jaw and skull shot on the second one. Okay, we got the brain shot. That didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped, though. The first two shots skidded off the water. But we got it on the third try, at least. And there we go. A nice little neck shot. Love to see it. Well, seems we've got a couple of gators close once again. There we go. And that's going to be the end of her. Though I swear I heard two of them. Oh, I definitely did. And that's going to do the trick. We've also got a four out there. So there was a lot more gators here than I thought. However, this video is getting to a point where it's going to be very, very long if we don't end it now. So we're going to go ahead and cut this one short. However... I'm likely going to come back and hunt some more gators in a future video, uh, continuing this search around the map with the 44 lever action. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and also leave a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel and you appreciate the work that goes into these videos, consider subscribing and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.